Welcome to the Immortal Recap. In today's episode, I'm talking about Deferent World. So let's go now. Rocket is a test subject for the High Evolutionary as a young raccoon in order to construct a counter-Earth populated by anthropomorphic animals. He befriends three of the High Evolutionary's other test subjects, Lilla, Teefs, and Floor. They subsequently discover that they will not be a part of the new Earth once the High Evolutionary perfects the anthropomorphization formula. When the High Evolutionary fears an escape attempt, he murders Lilla, Teefs, and Floor, which enrages Rocket, who mauls him and flees. Years later, the Guardians of the Galaxy have set up shop on a restored nowhere. They are told to deliver Rocket to the High Evolutionary, who has grown obsessed with rescuing his subject in order to isolate and replicate Rocket's brilliance. Rocket is gravely hurt during the fight, and the Guardians are unable to treat his wounds owing to a kill switch lodged in him. The crew decides to visit the Orgoscope, the headquarters of the High Evolutionaries Corporation Orgocorp, in the hopes of discovering an override code. The Guardians penetrate Orgosphere and recover Rocket's information with the help of the Ravagers and a hesitant 2014 Gamora. They are ambushed by Orgosphere's guards, narrowly escape after Peter Quill wirelessly ignites the suit jetpacks of the soldiers. They reason that Thiel, one of the High Evolutionaries scientists, could have the override code stored in his memory and go to find him. The squad, led by Aisha and Adam, travels to counter Earth against Gamora's advice. Quill, Nebula, and Groot track Thiel to the High Evolutionary's ship with the assistance of a family of bat like humanoids, while Drax and Mantis stay with Gamora and Rocket. Quill and Groot board the spacecraft of the High Evolutionary, leaving Nebula behind. Mantis reluctantly accompany Drax to the High Evolutionary's ship which begins to launch with Quill and Groot kidnapped on board, destroying Counter-Earth in the process. Gamora remains with Rocket, but is ambushed by a pig warrior sent by the High Evolutionary, who is slain when Warlock arrives in search of Rocket. Gamora defeats Adam and launches the Guardian's vessel. Quill and Groot successfully overcome the soldiers of the High Evolutionary and kill Thiel, jumping off with him and retrieve his memory before Gamora arrives. Meanwhile, Nebula, Mantis, and Drax enter the High Evolutionary's ship to rescue Quill and Groot, and a weakened Adam feels his mother is in peril but is too late to save her. Rocket flatlines and has a near-death experience on the Guardian's ship, where he is greeted by Lilla, Teefs, and Floor, who inform him that his time has not yet come before Quill successfully installs the override code and revives him. Mantis, Nebula, and Drax encounter swarms of imprisoned children on the High Evolutionary's ship before being kidnapped and imprisoned with Abelisks. Mantis convinces the Abelisks to join them, and the three escape the chamber before rejoining the Guardians and defeating the High Evolutionary's army, and on his ship, while the animals and the majority of the Guardians are saved and bored nowhere. Quill just escapes after Cosmo is unable to hold the spacecraft together long enough for him to board and begins to freeze in space before being saved by Adam. The Guardians make the decision to dissolve. Before leaving for Earth, Quill bestows the position of Captain of the Guardians to Rocket. Quill reconnects with his grandfather in a post credit sequence. Thank you for staying with us. Remember to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.